In this video we're going to take a look at taking parent functions and turning them into graphing form and how we can move and transform graphs of any equation based on what we know and have learned from graphing parabolas. So if you think about everything that we've done at this point, we have become experts on the parent, which is y equals x squared, which we know of as called the parabola. And we know the graphing form is y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k, where a is your stretch and compress factor, it tells you if you flip it open up or open down. This moves it horizontally and this kicks it up and down. The graph typically looks like this and it has arrows to the upper right uh, noting that it isn't a positive parabola. Alright, what we're going to be able to do or what we're going to talk about is all the other functions we've been seeing in our book and throughout this course and those would be these functions here. So we're going to be able to take these other four and be able to take them from the parent function that they're in and be able to predict a graphing form function and be able to look at the graphs and be able to move and transform them all over the graph. So this one is x cubed, this one is x squared, this is called the cubic, and with the cubic, then we just simply change this, and it's going to move it all over the graph. So the graph would be that, y equals a times x minus h cubed plus k, and you get this s-shaped curve with the arrow to the upper right. Now once you figure out the pattern, then you can do the hyperbola, which is going to look like this. The hyperbola is going to have uh, 1 over x, well you're going to take x minus h down here, you're going to put an a out front, you're going to put a k on it, that's going to move it horizontally and kick it up and down. It has an intersection of asymptotes, and it looks like this. So the other two are very similar in the patterns. They all have the x minus h's, the plus k's on the outside, and that's the moves horizontally and vertically as you're going about this. Now the sleeping parabola is next, and the sleeping parabola comes from this function, or excuse me, this equation. It is not a function. Once you graph the plus and minus of it, it's going to fail the vertical line test, and so then you've got a sideways parabola. Then the last one being the exponential y equals b to the x, and so the equation would be y equals a times b to the x minus h, and then plus k, and it's going to curve up if it's a positive a value from your um, asymptote. Now, we have what's called the parent graph toolkit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where we're at on our parent graph toolkit for today, and then what you need to do or what your job would be is to pause this video then, and after you pause the video you can copy everything down that's on here. This is what we covered in class. Uh, as far as everything that we know about parabolas, cubics, hyperbolas, and exponentials. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the paper over because we do have one on the back. So if you need to pause the video now to um, take a look at these, do that. And then I'm going to flip it over. And so when, when I flip it over, then you can take a look at the one that's the sleeping parabola. You can add that to your list and everything that we know about it. And so we've got the sleeping parabola and the four other from the front, and you should have almost complete parent graph toolkit. We'll continue to complete this when we add other functions.